Alright guys, um, today I will be reviewing the Costa Bluetooth Gamepad. Um, so, um, I've got this gamepad off of Amazon, and it is said to work for only Android devices. Um, it's said it, it has support for, uh, says pad, so I'm not sure what that is. Uh, phone, smart box, smart TV, and PC. So, when they say PC, because I don't know an Android PC, but I'm not sure about that part, so I will try to my PC. But, um, here are some of the features on the back that I will hold up here for you guys to pause on. So, I'll give this a couple of seconds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing this to show you guys what you get in the box. And here we go. Okay. Alright, so um, what you get in the box is you get a charging cable so you can see that you get a instruction manual and for some reason uh, this manual is in all Chinese so um, okay no it's not Okay, I thought it was, but it's not. Uh, so, yeah, here's the instruction manual. And then you get the gamepad itself. Um, so, this gamepad is very lightweight. Very lightweight. Um, as you can see, it has a start button, select button, your general movement buttons, and action button. It has uh, buttons on the top, the R1 and R2, left, uh, left one, and left two buttons. And here's your charging port to charge it. I don't know if you guys can get close, I'm trying to focus for you. Okay, I guess it won't focus. Um, and on the back, there is nothing on the back, so that's pretty much about it for this, um, gamepad, so. <clears throat> so, um, the next thing I will do is test this gamepad out with, uh, my tablet, so I'm going to pause for a second and get back with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, um, I just want to let you know that there are four modes that can be activated uh, with this gamepad. Alright guys, um, now we are going to connect this uh, gamepad to Bluetooth. And um, the first mode that we will be using is the uh, handle mode. And um, to get this activated, press the home and the X button at the same time. Until you see this red light start to flash really fast just like this to get it to pair so I'm um, on your device you just click pair your Bluetooth device which whatever it says on your device and um, as you can see mine is already scanning and the tablet I'm using is an Amazon uh, Fire HD 8 tablet to, to six, the 2016 version and as you can see gamepad has popped up here so I'm going to click on it And as you can see right here, it, I know you probably can't see that well, but it says it has connected. So, um, and handle mode is used for, uh, playing games. And you can also use it to navigate a couple of other things. Um, I feel like I can, okay, yeah, it's for right here. You can use it to maybe scroll up and down. Things like that. Uh, let me see, select button. So you can use the select button, it uh, works like your back button. So yeah, so in humble mode, you can use your basic, uh, you can navigate 
your screen through uh, using these buttons. Let's see. And um, to do your click, you just press the X button and it should open up. Sorry about that. Mine is kind of lagging. Sorry about that. Let's try it again. Okay, there you go. So, um, you can use that to open up things. So, I'm going to close this folder. I have all my apps and folders. So, I'm going to close that folder. Pressing the select button, which is the backspace button. So, yeah. X to open. And, um, your home, the start button is your home button. So, you can press that and it goes back to your home screen. And that's basically it. Alright guys, uh, next mode is operate mode and basically you connect this by using the same buttons that you use to connect um, the handle mode which is uh, the home and the X button. So to get operate mode, just press the home button once and you should see this light change to the other side. So with uh, operate mode, this allows you to use the gamepad like a mouse. So I already have it connected, so um, I think you can see the mouse moving around here like that. But let me just tell you what the buttons uh, symbol. Um, left stick is the uh, direction of the mouse for fast movement. Um, the right stick is the direction of mouse for slow movement. Um, the Y button is the volume up. Uh, the A button is the volume down. The X button is the... Uh, previous button the B button is the next button um, your home button is the control mode button and your R1 is the mouse right button or the right click button and your R2 is the play pause button and your uh, mouse the L2 is the left click button and the uh, L2 is all uh, is um, the play pause button also um, the select button is your back button, and the start button is your home button. So the home button allows you to get back to your home screen. So I already have it connected. As you can see, um, I'm now moving the mouse using the fast mode. And over here, um, it is now slow. As you can see. So with this, this allows you to use this like a mouse. I'm going to go just click on a few things. Like, let's click on that my entertainment folder so I'm pressing the right click there you go so um, there you go so right click um, to get out of that folder just press the back button which is the uh, select button for some reason it doesn't work straight away so let's try pressing the home button Okay, so you, okay, you just press the home button instead. I don't know why the select button is not working. Um. Okay, guys. Next mode is the iCAD mode. And to activate this, um, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I'm now on the iPad. Um, so to activate the iCAD mode, you will press the home button plus the um, B button. So we're going to press and hold that. it starts blinking fast and we're going to um it says gamepad should pop up so we should see the name gamepad okay there we go As you can see you see gamepad so i'm going to click on that all right it says it's connected so for arcade mode we're going to go to the app store and it says type in iCAD, which is right here, and a whole bunch of games are supposed to pop up that this gamepad can be used with. And also, as you can see, the light is down here now. So, we're supposed to be able to, uh, the games that pop up, we're supposed to be able to use those. So, I'm just going to scroll, the, scroll through these and pick a game to play to see if this works, and I will be right back. 
Alright guys, I'm back, and one of the games I found to work in the iPad mode, a very popular game, is Temple Run. So I'm going to open that up, click New Game, um, let's see, yes. Alright, here we go. Look, as you can uh, see, guys, it does work with Temple Run. And I would think that it should work with any of these uh, platform runner games. So I might try some extras. Okay, guys, I want to go back to the operate mode um, and uh, navigating or using uh, the music functions or, you know, the play pause, the volume. Um, I tried it on my Amazon Fire HD 8 2016 version tablet and um, they just didn't work. Either some of them worked or, or none, of them, none of them worked at all, but uh, I'm not using these functions buttons for the iPad and they work fantastic with the music app. Um, as you can see, I'm going to turn up the volume. I'm going to go to the next song. Previous. Uh, pause button. Play. Pause. So as you can see, they work fantastically with the iPad music app. So...